Baylor had the kind of scholars that I wanted to study with, people who are dedicated to fantastic scholarship as well as the church. The religion department has, has been, and, and we hope will continue to be, one of the flagship PhD programs at Baylor University. We are a faith-friendly academic community and a church-friendly academic community. We do work in Old Testament, New Testament, church history, and theology and ethics and the university has a lot of resources. Certainly the primary resource is faculty members who are fine researchers and teachers. Miller's faculty is second to none. Um, it's hard to find a school where, really, if you want to study with the top people, you can do that here, now, all in one spot, and that's difficult to find. One of the uh, things we enjoy about our program is the interaction between faculty and staff. We keep our seminars small, and they are engaged students and faculty alike. They want me to succeed, and not only that, but the other students in the program with me. Our faculty uh, like to relate to students, both in terms of their research and teaching, but also relate to them personally. There's also the University Library resources, which uh, support research. The other resource is support for students to travel to conferences. We think that's a significant part of the student's development as a scholar. What's unique to Baylor is, is a kind of collegiality among students, collegiality among faculty, and uh, an excitement and energy that's shared among both groups. There's a huge sense of community. The people who have been here for a few years will help guide and direct the people who are coming after them. It's uh, this synergy that benefits and educates as much as a lot of the other things we do. We're all rooting for one another, doing whatever we can to help one another succeed. I came here to study with these people and because we have a pretty significant stipend. There is both tuition and stipend support for all of our graduate students. From what I understand across the nation, our stipend is very competitive with any stipend offered in, in theology or religious studies. With that stipend comes certain requirements. So in the first few years, you'll serve as a graduate assistant. And so we kind of learn the ropes of being a professor by working alongside a professor. We have uh, two and a half years of coursework followed by a semester to study for preliminary examinations. So during the two and a half years, it's about taking classes both in the department and in their external minors or concentrations. And then after the two and a half years, they do a comprehensive exam um, in which they take three uh, exam areas uh, and then the faculty will judge whether they pass on to the next stage. And then once a student completes those steps, then they move on to the dissertation. Um, the fourth year generally has no commitments other than some graduate work. Their fifth year, then they get their own class. And this is where they begin to put all of the stuff that they've been working on and thinking about together. It's a very fine preparation for teaching in their own careers. Baylor prepares you really well to interact in an environment where you can be both a scholar and a teacher. We're very intentional about teaching students the basics of scholarship, how to do research, how to write papers, how to do teaching. Being able to help students in, uh, discover what they think about the Bible, what they think about Christianity, regardless of the religious background they're coming from. I think there's a huge amount of power into helping someone figure out how and who they want to be in the world. 